thoughts on Thursday. It's Reverend Miller and Stuart Holmes. We're down here at the piano because this coming Sunday we are dedicating our new piano and it's in, given in memory of Charlotte Smith and the original piano was also given in her memory and this is a considerable upgrade, correct? It is. And so we just wanted to come down here and do our, our, our thoughts. Stuart's going to be playing on it um, for Prelude and Postlude. Right. It is also Trinity Sunday and then also, after the, the worship service and the fellowship time, we are honoring our cemetery guy, Guy. And so it'll be a wonderful time this coming Sunday. When we come to Trinity Sunday, it's interesting, the idea of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a mystery. And often we want to try to solve that mystery and figure out all the nuances of what that means. This coming Sunday, we're, we're leaning more into not trying to figure out what it all means, but leaning into the mystery of this idea that God can be in three persons, and each person, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, are all part of that, and what that means for us in our day-to-day -day Christian lives, and what it means to have a God who um, not only creates and redeems and sustains. That's the amazing part. And one of our scripture passages is Psalm 8. And in Psalm 8, it is about praise, but it's also about wonder, just looking at this world and just being in, in awe of it. And not always having the answers, but when things are mysterious and wonderful, just to be overwhelmed by them. And that's kind of what we're looking at for our worship service. And so I have quick thoughts today, which allows you to have lots and lots of thoughts, which yeah. you caught I, me on that last Sunday and I, or last Thursday, and I was short. Yes. Yeah. So today you get to be long. Oh, I'm not going to be that long. <laughs> um, I, too, was going to mention that uh, holy, 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 the Trinity, uh, the words talk about uh, God three in one in, uh, in one of the verses. Uh, the, the God is most holy, and God's creation reflects uh, his glory. And that hymn uh, has wonderful text, has a wonderful text. Um, All the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Very poetic. Uh, the, uh, the last verse, um, all the work shall praise, praise thy name in earth and heaven and sky in earth and sky and sea. So um, it's a great hymn to play, and on this Sunday when we uh, are dedicating the piano, it just seems right that uh, that's one of the hymns. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the two other things I'm going to, <laughs> this organist is going to step away um, and, and play some piano. I am not a pianist, but um, I so love his uh, Bach's two-part inventions. And uh, they're very easy. Bach uh, later used them to help train students, or his uh, successors did. Uh, Two-part inventions are basically two voices. Um, uh, my left hand flubbed that at the beginning of this uh, tape, but um, it is so clear to hear the two voices going in and out uh, from each other. Um, the two-part inventions, he wrote two-part and three-part inventions. Um, they're all short. Um, we consider them now musical exercises. Okay. And so that uh, is one of the pieces I'm going to play. The other is a Beethoven sonata, but I'm not doing a big sonata. Uh, uh, occasionally I play uh, one of the... Um, Passionata Sonata, um, and uh, today, I'm, or this Sunday, I'm going to play one of his easier sonatas, and it is just um, a very simple two-part uh, song that uh, sounds very typical Beethoven, and uh, it's, it's wonderful. I'll play just a snipping of that at the end of this taping. Okay. So, 
You were short. <laughs> it's also Music Sunday, last Sunday for the choir for the school year, and then the uh, choir will come back in uh, September. And we're doing a very reformed thing this Sunday with uh, Music Sunday and with our Psalm 8. So back in the day in the reformed tradition, it was very much about the psalter. You sang psalms, and so our call to worship will be the verse of Psalm 8. And right. then for the reading of Psalm 8, what it will be, we'll read, is it almost a verse by verse? Almost, yeah. You read a verse or two, and then we'll have a, that same choral response to it, singing the psalm, and then we'll sing, do another verse or two, and, and so it'll be a singing and reading. It's such a great way to get the congregation involved in, in um, hearing the psalm text and then singing a response to it. So. And it's a very reformed type thing. Yes. And so a lot of wonderful things this coming Sunday. We hope to see you either in person here in the sanctuary or on YouTube or Facebook. Have a great day.